Uh, whilst editing this, I've noticed I've referred to the gun as a pistol. Uh, obviously, that's not correct. It's a revolver. Um, I apologise to anyone that uh, gets upset or has noticed. I do know the difference between a pistol and a revolver, and clearly I've, uh, I've stated that wrong. So, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Thanks for watching. If you're going to shoot a YouTube video, shoot, don't talk. The Mark III was developed in 1877 and was a standard issue for the US military with over 3,000 guns ordered. This gun is iconic as it is the Mark III developed by Smith & Weston with the help of Major George Schofield. He painted the top lock which helps the user release the gun and reload it using just one hand, which I guess is good if you're a cavalryman. Although he is credited for the painting of this, it is said that some of his family were in the painting office who were responsible for approving the contract. Also, Major Schofield had many contacts within the military and cavalry who were the principal orders of this gun. That said, the Mark III in the hands of a trained soldier could be loaded and shot in 25 seconds, whereas the Peacemaker took 26 seconds just to load. This may also be the reason why legendary greats favoured this piece. Famous people like Jesse James, Wyatt Earp and even Doc Holliday. The gun came back into favour recently with gaming platforms adopting it. Games such as Red Dead Redemption have helped to push this gun back into the mainstream. The gun comes in two versions, Battle Black and Silver. It's 32 centimetres long, weighs 1072 grams and is a full metal gun with a faux wood handle. It has a 6 inch barrel and takes CO2. The gun has no hop up, but actually the bullets act as a hop when they're loaded. Hi, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. <sighs> this is something uh, pretty special. Uh, this, this is the six inch aging black pistol uh, from ANG, branded by uh, Wingman. So uh, this is a pretty awesome piece. Um, I don't know if this is a skirmish ball, skirmish ball, skirmish ball gun. Uh, this gun is allegedly shooting around about uh, 450, 460 FPS, which makes it probably unskirmishable for most games, but great for plinking in the garden. So this is a CO2 pistol. Uh, and it comes in two versions. It comes in the uh, black version here and also comes in a silver version. Aging black. Battleware. 
it looks really really good um apparently let's have a look at what uh, what we think so this is a non-blowback pistol obviously because it's an old-fashioned uh, gun from 1877 uh, which i'll show you a bit more later on so let's have a look inside or let's have a look at the box um obviously you get this rather nice box in the front on the side is a picture of the pistol just some details on the side there and then some information about the FPS which is um, which is as I say pretty impressive let's have a look inside see what you get okay so we have a manual manual is confusing <laughs> okay so manual is very colorful it's a full colored manual uh, giving information about the gun about how to load it and how to load the co2 and how to load the cartridge in this it's a six shot pistol All right. oh my goodness <laughs> that looks awesome okay so let's take this out there's nothing else in the box let's get rid of this I know there's something about these pistols that you know when you have a, a 1911 they, they fit really well these grips are very strange but that feels amazing okay let's have a look at the around this so we have a faux wood grip um, I wish it was wood but it's uh, it's faux wood um, faux wood meaning it's plastic so you've got ANG written on the side there and in 1877, that's when this gun was uh, commissioned, copyright, patent. It's a full metal gun uh, with a six chambered bullet. This gun comes in three types. It comes with, uh, in the airsoft version, it comes in a BB version, and it comes in an air rifle, which is a 177. Uh, I went for the uh, airsoft because it's an airsoft channel. All right, so let's have a look at the gun. So on this side, we've got the unique trademark on the side there. And then coming up, it's got the Schofield marking on the side. Six inch barrel with scope, uh, with sights on the back and the front, and then a groove in the middle. The groove apparently was to make sure that this front sight sat nice and uh, low so they would fire properly. You've got your hammer on the top. And then coming around, you can see the inner barrel on the side there. This is on this side. On this side is where the gun fails slightly because obviously this isn't tradition. It's got six millimeter BB made in Taiwan. <laughs> that wouldn't have been on the real gun. Also, you have your safety on here, um, and that's safe pulling down side so that's safe there and then putting down is to fire again so metal trigger metal trigger guard your hammer on top chamber coming across and this thing weighs some it really feels very authentic apart, apart from this though wood part it does feel really really good and looks amazing with the uh, the battle worn the uh, the aging battle worn on there so this is a single action pistol. Uh, single action meaning that with the uh, Smith & Westerns and other guns that you can shoot bang, 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 and it just keeps firing. This one won't shoot. You have to pull the trigger, or you can see the trigger's pulled back there. You have to pull back the hammer to be able to fire this. And each time you fire it, you have to pull the hammer back um, to be able to fire. So it is a single action, okay? It's also a top break. Top break meaning that you have to pull this part back here to break the gun. And this is where the Mark III comes in. So Mark I and II used to have this part here was in the top. Um, but with the Mark III, which was painted by Major Schofield, it meant that this was a cavalry piece, a piece for, for cavalrymen. Uh, and by having this part here, you could open it 
quite easily when you're on a horse riding and you're trying to shoot. As I say later on in the video, with the Smith & Weston, the Smith & Weston has a part here which you'd pull back. You have to then empty your bullets out, moving the chamber around, and then you would individually load the bullets in, pull the chamber back, and then you're ready to go. With this one, you don't do that. This one has this. So this one has an extractor. So when you pull this back, the extractor pulls the bullets up for you. Now you can release it. There's a button on the bottom here, which if you press, stops the um, extractor from, from operating. And the purpose for this would be that if you're on a cavalry horse and you're, you're riding into battle, you want to be able to you want to be able to shoot this and then to release it. And the idea being is that what you would do is you can do one of two things. You can either release it like this, or you would hit it on your leg and release it. And then you have a pack on your front and you'd load the bullets back in here, enabling you to carry on and shoot. Okay, so this is a six shot cartridge. Um, and what you do is you get the individual bullets like this and you put the BB in and wait for the click and you do that six times. So this pistol has no hop up. Um, all you've got basically is just the barrel that aim at myself just the barrel that goes down the inside there so effectively these are the hop up on the gun when you go to load the gun if you pull it back obviously the extractor comes up but if you push it all the way down the extractor drops down enabling you to to open up or you can just fire them out let's put these in I love that first one. It pops in. How cool is that? So you can slam this back, but it's probably recommended that every time you do that, you're going to get wear on the gun. So it might be a good idea just to hold this back. And that way you're going to preserve your gun a little bit better. Let's have a look at how you fill the CO2 into this pistol. And you have a, a base part there, which obviously you can then crank this open and this will open up. So the revolver is a CO2 and to get into the CO2, you remove this part here. And then you have a part on here, which is for uh, opening up your CO2 part. Okay, so let's put a CO2 capsule in here uh, and get this ready. Most capsules have uh, silicon in them, but if they don't, then use something like this, a silicon oil, and just place a little bit on the top. You could also place it actually inside here if you want it as well. So put your CO2 capsule inside and then using the handle, tighten up What I would suggest is that um, I have seen other people that have said that when they've tightened this up they've tightened it too much and this is broken off um, it is a faux wood, so it's not real wood. Be careful, don't over tighten it. But that's fine. Okay, to insert this again, there's a tiny little lip on the side there, on the top. By placing that in, and it clicks back on. Okay, so let's put this through the chromo, let's see how, what it's shooting at. Uh, let's do some target shooting. Uh, and then we'll come back and find out what our thoughts on the gun are.
Okay, let's try target shooting first. Gonna be aiming those sights there. Okay, this time, the cans. One bad ombre. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for the badge. shot here two three four I think he's dead but I didn't get him in the badge huh. one on the shoulder one there as well I don't think he's one dead hombre sayonara
So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, I have to say, I like it. Um, I like most airsoft guns. In fact, I said that in most videos. It's, it looks amazing. I, I love the, uh, the, the, the battle wear sort of look on there. Um, it feels incredibly authentic. Um, and I think it's exactly the same gun as you would find on the BB and the air rifle version. Um, but obviously with the inner barrel with the with the uh, airsoft first uh, Incredibly good shooting uh, Shooting at what 470 FPS is amazing. I mean, that's pretty much up there with the sniper rifle This thing is too hot to play in game. You can buy cartridges I believe which are a power down uh, which means that you'd be able to use in the game um, I think you'd be a little bit questionable to, to try and take this you're going to lose your cartridges it's not practical this is more for clinking in the garden and having fun and it is fun did you hear how loud it was i don't know if it came across in the camera but oh my god it shot so loud uh, it really was excellent it was kind of fun it looks amazing it shoots really good <laughs> i love it why wouldn't you thanks for watching um you guys are amazing thank you for uh for all the people that subscribed, I, I, I did this um, four months ago to say that I've hit 100 subs. Uh, I've now well crashed that. Um, you guys are so cool. I've now hit 200 plus subs. So thank you so much. If you can subscribe to this video, it would be amazing. Thumbs up really helps as well. Uh, and any comments you have, um, let me know what you think about, uh, about the gun. Here it is, Schofield. I'm sorry about all the montage things and all the different videos. I hope it's not flapping around too much. I really like this gun and I want to try and do it justice and I hope I have. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Would I buy one? Hell yeah, I bought this one.